Our very first stop is this lovely building over my shoulder. It's called the Whedon Home, the Whedon House. It is the home of Maria Howard Whedon. Now, if you've done any sort of Huntsville history and uh, looked through the history books, you've probably come across Maria's name. Uh, she was a pretty famous painter, a very famous poet. A lot of people refer to her as Howard Whedon. Back in the day when she was trying to sell her paintings and her poetry, it was a little more difficult for a lady to be selling stuff back in the 1800s, so she used her middle name of Howard Whedon a lot of times. Now, Miss Howard Whedon was actually born and actually passed away in the very home behind us. In fact, in the exact same bedroom. The very bottom left bedroom, the very bottom windows down there, that was Maria Howard Whedon's bedroom. She was born there and she died there. I think it's a very unique fact because how many people can even say these days that they were born and died maybe even in the same state, let alone the very same home and the very same room. Uh, people didn't move around a lot. In fact, the Whedons lived in this home most all their lives. The only time that they did not live at the Whedon Mansion was when we had a little incident here called the uh, Civil War. Uh, the Union Army moved into town. They used the Whedon House as their command headquarters. So they immediately evicted the Whedons who moved uh, north for a short while and then they lived in Tuscaloosa uh, with her sister. Now, some of the ghost stories that go with the Whedon home. Uh, some of them we can tell you firsthand because we have had them related to us by the uh, former curator of the museum, a lady named Barbara. She used to work there and told uh, a couple of other tour guides and myself several interesting stories about the home. People would mail her photos of the rather strange furnishings and how maybe a bed that had no one in it, when they got the photo back, there's somebody laying on the bed or just strange, ghastly things like that. Uh, one of the best stories I think that Miss Barbara related to us was uh, a lady who came in and uh, wanted to take a tour. They were sitting there right inside the front door by the main staircase. There's a beautiful old grandfather clock that sits there in the entryway. As they were talking, the grandfather clock began to strike the hour. Nothing really unusual about that except Miss Barbara almost fainted dead away right in front of the, her, her guest and the lady didn't know what in the world was so upsetting that the clock went off. And uh, she opened the bottom of the clock to reveal there are no works in the clock at all.